Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you don't know me, my name's Lucy and I'm a final year medical student studying at the University of Nottingham. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how you can actually do more exercise in 2022 if that's one of your New Year's resolutions. And I truly believe that by doing more exercise, incorporating more activity, movement, whatever it is into your life, you can genuinely change your life. The easiest way to increase the amount of exercise you do is to make it an integral part of your routine. And I think by doing this, you actually get to a point where you feel that you can't live without exercise. I struggle to go even a day without getting out and just going on a walk or doing some form of exercise, no matter how mild that might be. And I actually struggle to go more than two days without doing sort of more high intensity exercise like running because it is just such a part of my routine and it's such a part of who I am. And it just gives me so much happiness, not necessarily while I'm doing it, but definitely afterwards. It gives me more focus, more productivity. So if you're wanting to do more exercise, but you're really struggling to actually go and do it, then my first bit of advice is to remove any resistance at all to doing exercise. It's so easy to come up with excuses to say, oh, I won't go today because it's raining or I'll go a different day or I'm tired or I need to eat first or I don't have time. So removing all of those hurdles before you even consider them is the easiest way to actually just make sure you get out and do something. It's genuinely the smallest things that actually make me end up going running on those days when I really don't feel like going. And it can literally be something as easy as just saying, Setting out my clothes. So I'd really recommend if you want to sort of exercise in the morning and you know you're going to wake up and you're really not going to want to go to set all of your clothes out beforehand, get everything ready, your gym membership card, your water, everything you need, just have it completely ready for you so that when that time comes and you want to come up with an excuse and say that you don't want to go, it's actually really difficult for you to do that. And then I always say this in the other videos I've made sort of about running and things. But once you've got your clothes on, to go and exercise, it's so difficult for you to actually change out of your clothes and not go. I feel like that step of putting on your workout clothes is actually often the hardest bit and once you're ready, you just will go and do it. You also want to set your day up right so that you can easily go and fit your exercise in. So if you know you're gonna need to eat before you do that, so if it's in the morning or if it's when you get back from work or uni or whatever, then Make sure you've set that time to eat. Plan your meals around when you're gonna do it. Look up the weather forecast. If it's raining and you think you're not gonna wanna go outside, then plan to do a workout inside in, in wherever you live or go to the gym. And if you're doing exercise in the morning, then make sure you get up early enough. It's so easy to say that you don't have time in the morning, but actually you can always get up 20 minutes earlier and that's a 20 minute run. I think that this isn't necessarily sustainable for everyone because I sort of had a period of time at uni while I was on placement where I was trying to get up early and do exercise before placement and it was good and I felt really good when I was doing it but actually I feel like it did get it did tire me out in the end because I wasn't able to keep up with the amount of sleep I needed because I couldn't get to sleep early enough for that. So I mean, different people have different kind of lifestyles and stuff, so don't feel that you have to do it in the morning before work or uni. If that doesn't work for you, then try and find a different part of the day when you can fit it in. And when you've set that time aside to do exercise, then actually plan exactly what you're gonna do. Because I find, again, that this makes me able to kind of visualize what I'm gonna be doing. And so I can kind of mentally prepare for it. I know what's coming. I'm not having to decide what I'm doing. I've, I'm already sorted. So if you're going on a run, then plan the route. If you're going to the gym, then plan your workout. If you're gonna do a workout at home, then actually pick a workout beforehand and commit to it. Because otherwise you'll get ready to do your workout and there's always that temptation to think oh I'll just do like a five minute one instead of a half an hour one so if you've decided you want to do a half an hour workout let's say then actually find that video on YouTube or whatever you want to do and actually plan it in advance so you know what you're doing and then you can't just make that excuse and shorten it to be five minutes I'm saying all of this but also do listen to your body so if you genuinely really don't think you should do exercise for a particular reason if you're tired or you're feeling under the weather then don't do it this is just for those moments when you kind of you know that really you could go and do it but you just want to make that excuse so you don't have to because you can't be bothered which is a completely normal feeling but it's something that you can sort of train yourself to get better at not doing. My second tip is to make it a habit rather than relying on motivation. Um, I think it's like a well-known sort of saying that people say that you can't rely on motivation because motivation will eventually run out. 
but a habit won't run out because a habit is stuck. So while, like I said, when I was at uni and I was getting up early to exercise before placement, I had that motivation for a while, but it did wear off. And that will always be the case of motivation. You'll have days where you just don't have any. So you want to make sure that your exercise is a habit. And I think a lot of people's advice is kind of to, to make it part of your routine. For example, on a Tuesday morning, you will always go and run. But I think actually that can be quite difficult if your lifestyle is quite sort of erratic. So for me, being a med student on placement, literally every single week is completely different. So I can never rely on having a set evening where I can do my exercise because sometimes I might be in the hospital late or I might sort of have a day off one week and think this is a perfect day for me to go on a longer run. Um, but that changes every week, so it's quite difficult to have a set schedule. And actually, like I said about listening to your body, sometimes I do feel like, you know what, I do need a couple of days completely off of exercise. And so I wouldn't want to have this really rigid schedule in place because then I'd feel like I'm not sticking to it. So what I do to combat this is I have a weekly goal of what I want to achieve exercise wise in that week. Um, and it doesn't matter where or how I fit that in, as long as I know that by the end of the week I will get to that goal. So for me, my goal recently has been that I have to run 10 miles every week. And so that could be two five mile runs just on two days. It could be five two mile runs, um, just depending on what I'm feeling like that week. Often it ends up being about three runs and that's the kind of minimum that I'll do. So then I can kind of plan my week around that, knowing that if I have only run once and it's Friday already, then I can think that, okay, I'm gonna dedicate some time this weekend to actually getting those miles up. And similarly, I am not as good at sticking to this one, but I do have the goal of doing a body pump class once a week, and I do that just at home. And that's only an hour a week, actually, um, that I need to commit to do body pump, which is weights. So that's kind of the bare minimum of what I'll do. And then if I sort of feel like doing an extra run, or if I feel like doing a really long run and making my weekly goal a lot longer than 10 miles, if I fancy doing some yoga, those are kind of all extra things. And then I feel like extra proud that I've done those things on top of my baseline. It also means that if, for example, I just have 10 minutes one evening spare, rather than think, oh, there's no point me going and running now because I've only got 10 minutes, I will think actually I will go and run because I can do like a mile and a half in that time and that will add into my weekly goal. So it encourages me to worry less about what I'm doing each time I exercise and more it helps me think about the whole picture and that actually I'm keeping this relatively consistent level of exercise no matter what my week brings, if that makes sense. My next tip is quite a simple one and it's to think about your gear or your clothes, what you're taking to the gym. Firstly, to make those things as useful to you as possible, but also to wear clothes that make you feel good. Sometimes I will sort of, for weeks, I'll just wear like the same few like running tops and they're just sort of ones I've had for years from like old races that I've done. And I kind of don't feel very good when I'm running. And then I'll suddenly change my outfit into being something I feel a lot better in, um, or I'll get like a new pair of leggings or something for my birthday. And it really motivates me to actually go out and wear them. And similarly being equipped for different weathers and things. So having waterproof clothes, having clothes you can wear when it's dark. All these things actually can really help you go. And especially for me when I was on placement, sort of in the Christmas period, I would think, Oh, I can't go out running because it's really dark, but actually I had like a fluorescent jacket and stuff So it meant I was able to carry on doing exercise no matter what sort of the weather or the, the light was like My next tip is don't let yourself think about exercise too much So if you've just got home from a day at work or at uni and you're feeling tired But you feel like you want to get some exercise done that day Then for me the best thing to do is to just literally get changed and go before I've even had chance to sit down and relax and think about it because I know that once I've come in and I've got a snack or something and I'm sat down and I've put the TV on, it's going to be so much harder for me to then go and get changed and go out in the cold to go running or go to the gym or whatever. So just go, as soon as that thought enters your mind that, oh, I want to do some exercise today, just go and just take that thought and run with it, literally. <laughs> 
because then you don't give yourself time to talk yourself out of it. So sometimes I come back from placement, all I want to do is sit and watch TV, but I think, no, I'm just going to get changed, go for a quick run, even if it's just 10, 15 minutes. And then I come back and I actually enjoy my evening so much more because I feel energised again. I feel like I can actually do things in the evening rather than just be really tired out. It helps me sleep. So yeah, just don't let yourself talk yourself out of it. My last tip is to not focus on the negatives of exercise but focus on the positives. So it's easy to kind of visualise yourself in the gym and be thinking of how, you know, exhausting it's going to be or how you're going to be like hating it. But actually think about the things that you can do to make it more enjoyable. So for me, for example, it was listening to Fern Cotton's podcast. For a while, would listen to that every time I went running and I almost kind of got excited about going because I thought, yay, it's half an hour I can spend listening to this podcast. Or try sort of running somewhere to actually meet someone or to go somewhere or to see something new, um, to go to a nice place place where you can take some nice pictures um you know so you're not just focusing on the fact you've got to go for a run or you've got to go to the gym but you're actually thinking how can you make this a more enjoyable experience and what else can you get out of it even for me going for the gym sometimes i'll think i'm just gonna spend an hour just trying new machines in the gym that i've not tried before i don't really use the weights machines very much because i do a lot of my weights as just sort of the free weights so sometimes i'll just go on random machines and it's literally just fun like it's just experimenting um so rather than trying to get a certain number of reps or trying to do a certain weight i'm just literally enjoying the process of trying these new sort of exercises out same thing goes with kind of workouts on youtube or if you have les mills on demand you can do things like body pump body attack body combat body balance so there's actually so many workouts out there that you probably won't even have thought of doing but are actually really fun to try out for example the first time i tried body combat i thought it was just the most fun thing because it was just brand new to me and so think about how you can actually make it more fun to do exercise and how you can make it more varied so you're not just doing the same thing all of the time so i really hope those tips were helpful hopefully if your goal is to be more active in 2022 or to try some new form of exercise or take up running then that can be helpful for you to give you that push into giving it a go i literally wouldn't have been able to get through medical school and my life and stressful times if i didn't have exercise as that stress relief that i could always go back to that would always make me feel just a little bit better so hopefully that's something that everyone can benefit from um no matter what form it's in thank you so much for watching remember to hit the subscribe button and give this video a like if you thought it was useful and yeah i'll see you very soon Enjoy the beginning of 2022. Bye.